John here hanging out at the Scarhigh booth at IBC 2023, and they have lots of controllers, lots of devices on show here today. But I'm actually over in a separate little section here, a little corner, which is showing a bunch of USB devices all connected up to the Scarhoy's uh, central device. So what they call it, um, previously Blue Pill or Reactor, and they're showing that off here today, where we have the reactor set up, and all of these USB devices here on the back ledge are all connected up to this reactor. So you have things like a Stream Deck over here. We also have some X-Key devices, X-Key Switch, the Stream Deck Mini as well, uh, the Contour Shuttle Pro. We have the X-Keys USB GPIO, a foot pedal, gamepad, and another X-Keys device, all connected up over USB here. And you can use that to control a bunch of different devices. If you're familiar with Scarhoy in the past, then you'll know that they have their device cores where you can connect up things like ATEMs, all sorts of cameras, all sorts of video switchers, software-based things like X keys. So here on the booth, they have it set up with an ATEM Mini and a Canon camera right above that. But they have loads of other cameras. We'll show those in a minute. So in theory, what you're able to do is connect a lot of hardware and software to a, a device like a USB style one or any of the Scarhoy devices that they have on offer as well. They do build custom hardware, but maybe you don't have that yet or you don't have the budget for that yet, but you already have a couple of stream decks lying around and you're ready to control even more things. Then you could instead head into this sort of reactor style setup um, and build out your show connect the devices you already own. There's a good chance that Scarhigh already supports a lot of those devices. And what have you got new this year for us all? Well, we have the mega panel for Keros, three MEs built into a table, that's exciting. We have FX9, FX6 shading on our shading table. We have SWP08 routing control with the Riedel router. And finally, we have Reactor 2.0, which is our uh, broadcast control system in our panels. So tell me a bit about 2.0 Reactor. What's different? What's different from the last version? Yeah, uh, it is really that we have built a user-friendly engine for configuration. This has been missing from the start for reasons that we needed to put in a really solid basis that could do everything we imagined. And then on top of that, we have now built a page space paradigm that people are familiar with from Unisketch, which is our previous platform, Stream Decks from Companion. So you have that same you know, one page at a time, even with shift levels built into Reactor now. That's really exciting. As a developer myself, I know how hard it is to make something like that where you can figure X to Y, like what, how much time and effort has gone into making it as easy as it's gotten over the years. I, I know the number on, you know, on an Excel sheet, it's millions. <laughs> it's just crazy. A lot of time, a lot of money going into creating a system like that. But this is here for the decades. So it's really an investment on our side to make sure our products is future-proof. So um, yeah, a lot of effort. That's great. Thanks, Casper. You're welcome. <laughs>